console manufacturers take to the stage and make a heap of bold claims, declarations and promises. Their hope is to ignite consumer excitement for their range of consoles and games that can be nurtured into sales. But with the perspective that comes from time passing, we can assess which claims were honoured, which hit stumbling blocks and which were hot air. I ask one year later, did Sony keep their E3 2014 promises? The promise. You'll be able to play Destiny first on PlayStation. Was it kept? Yes, the co-promotional partnership between Sony and Bungie didn't restrict sale of the full game to Xbox owners. But whilst it was released on all platforms at the same time, PS4 owners got to play the Destiny Alpha and comment on Peter Drinklage's voice acting. I'm not going to lie to you, Guardian. PS3 and PS4 players also got to play the beta first on the 17th of July, whilst Xbox 360 and Expo owners didn't get their hands on it until six days later on the 23rd. The promise. Destiny isn't just first on PlayStation, it's better. Extra content that only PlayStation customers will receive. Was it kept? Judging on game performance and extra content, yes. In terms of gameplay, it delivered an equal experience for both PS4 and Xbox platforms. However, Digital Foundry's graphics performance reviewer, Thomas Morgan, who has cultivated a reputation for judging Expo and PS4 games to be equal in different ways, wrote, Sony's hardware puts out a near-perfect 30fps line in the campaign. However, the Xbox One version still suffers from similar frame pacing issues originally encountered in the beta. Microsoft's hardware averages at a 30fps output, but the ordering of its frames is uneven, causing certain stages to feel less smooth as a result. In terms of extra content, PlayStation owners at launch got a unique Dust Palace strike mission on Mars. The Exodus Blue competitive map and armor, weapons and ships. The promise. I'm happy to announce our first ever white PlayStation 4. Was it kept? Yes, as it was the first time the PS4 was available in a white version, it was also highly in demand. The promise. Let's now take a look at another new IP that will be available only on PlayStation 4. Was it kept? It was. Although how much of a benefit is open to discussion, the game received a slew of poor to middling reviews criticising its linearity and lack of replayability. However, it does feature, arguably if you're a Rise fan, the best console graphics ever. And it was released in February, one of the post-Christmas game drought months. It had a AAA budget, and there was a high profile TV campaign in the UK and the USA. And the discussion of its flaws made PlayStation 4 the conversational topic of the month. The promise. You guys will not have to wait to get your hands on Entwine. The PS4 version is available right now in the PlayStation Store for $9.99. With PS3 and Vita to follow as part of our cross buy program. Was it kept? Indeed it was. The game was available from the EU stores the next day. The PS3 and Vita versions were released in the US on the 22nd of July and they are indeed part of the cross-buy program. If you buy one version, you can of course have the others without additional cost. The promise. Infamous standalone DLC First Light will be released in August 2014. Was it kept? Yes. Just, the digital download edition was released on the 27th of August. The Blu-ray edition was released in the UK on the 10th of September. And the game was available as a free download to PlayStation Plus subscribers in January 2015. The promise. You can just go online and play any of this vast catalog of user-generated levels on LVP3 with improved graphics on PS4. Was it kept? Yes. The game was released on the 18th of November in the USA and when you play user generated levels from the previous games they are also displayed in 1080p. Star Personality. The crowd at an E3 press conference are already in high spirits but when Shuhei Yoshida, president of PlayStation's worldwide studio, stepped onto the stage he received a rapturous welcome of applause and cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Too many industry personalities filter their words with PR training, but Yoshida is a naturally engaging person. He holds no pretensions of being cool, he's just a very experienced industry veteran. Forthright in his opinions, and his warm character has earned him the goodwill of many PlayStation gamers. The promise. Bloodborne, a new game by Hidetaka Miyazaki, would be released in 2015. Was it kept? Yep, and then some. First revealed in June 2014, and on sale just 8 months later, Bloodborne, a spiritual sequel to Demon Souls, was released to rave reviews and received full marks from The Guardian, Jim Sterling, and Edge magazine. The promise. When you buy Far Cry 4 on either PS3 or PS4, you can invite your PSN friends to join you, even if they don't own the game. Yeah? Was it kicked? Yes, but with limitations. Obviously, Ubisoft is not going to give away a whole game for free. This offer is essentially a multiplayer demo. How it works is that a Far Cry 4 owner can send up to 10 invites to friends to join him or her in a unique co-op game for 2 hours. Any loot or experience the friend earns can be kept if they go on to play the full game. So it's nice to have, but not quite the innovative feature that was announced on stage. Promise. Now you just saw Dead Island 2 debut. It will have a 30 day exclusive beta, as well as a full exclusive character class and level, only on PS4. Was it kicked? It's in progress, as the beta has yet to be released. The Dead Island website states that PS4 owners will gain access to the beta 30 days before PC and Expo owners. We'll have to wait until the final release to see if the PS4 gets an exclusive character class level, whatever that is. The promise. You'll be able to battle clickers, bloaters, and stalkers in an exclusive themed dungeon. And Blizzard has integrated them deeply into the game, so they have their own special attacks. Was it kicked? Yes. As part of the Ultimate Evil Edition, the Nephilim Rift on PlayStation gave access to the Last of Us area, enemies and moves. The promise. Special beta for Battlefield Hardline. It's available right now exclusively for consoles on PS4. Was it kicked? Yes. Although it was a closed beta and you had to first register via the Battlefield website and log in using EA's Origin service. The promise. The only place you can Hulk smash in Disney Infinity 2 at launch will be on PlayStation platforms. Was it kicked? Yep, yeah, it was part of the Disney Infinity 2.0 Collector's Edition. Although this later came out on other formats in the USA and the Hulk was subsequently sold separately. The promise. Although no specific announcements were made, it was shown on the Sony stage, so it was fair to infer that it would be coming to PlayStation. Was it kicked? Yes. The game has very recently been released on the 26th of May on PS4 and PC. The promise. It will be coming exclusively to both PS4 and PS Vita. Was it kicked? Grim Fandango was remastered. It was released on the 27th of January 2015. No shining new HD graphics, but it had a higher resolution, new textures, and a specially recorded orchestral score. The game did release on PS4 and Vita, but it also released on Mac, PC, and Linux, and recently on iOS and Android. As Adam Boyes gave no conditions to his exclusivity statement, such as it being a console exclusive, this promise was a broken promise. Promise. All of the following titles you're about to see will be making their console debut exclusively on PlayStation platforms. Was it kicked? Yes, all four games have been released this year. Whilst available on PC and in some cases Mac, the only consoles that are available on are PlayStation consoles. The Promise. The Talos Principle will be released on PlayStation 4. Was it kicked? The narrative-driven puzzle game is still expected to be released this year. The Promise. Let It Die, a PS4 exclusive in 2015. Was it kept? Not yet, but the year is still young. The Promise. Nabzu will make its exclusive console debut on PS4. Was it kept? It's in progress. The game has yet to be released. The promise. One last game that surprised and amazed me, 
and will make its console debut on PS4. Was it kicked? The game is still in development. The PlayStation UK MD, Fergal Gara, said Sony are treating it as a first party exclusive and it may see a Blu-ray release. It's guaranteed that it will premiere on the PS4 console. But more intriguing is the console debut statement, which leaves the door open for an Xbox One release. The promise. And today there are creative teams around the world working with us to define the future of gaming and entertainment. Was it kept? There are indeed teams working on it, including Endreams, who are making the assembly. CCP Games, who are making a version of Eve Valkyrie, and new Sony owned studio, Northwest Studios, amongst others. The promise. And that last metric will climb even higher when we bring YouTube to PS4 later this year. Was it kept? Yes, firmware update 2.0 enabled sharing video footage directly to YouTube and it added the YouTube app. The promise. Not only can you watch someone's gameplay in real time, you can now interact with that person's game experience while they're playing. You can help them, you can harm them, it's up to you. But you're right there with them. Was it kicked? Yes. It's very clever, but so far it's only been implemented in a limited range of games. In Little Big Planet 3, you can create levels that react differently to different logic commands. Viewers can then vote for keywords, and depending on what they use, they can influence how the level reacts. It's also available in Dynasty Warriors 8 and Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition. The promise! We will further enhance PS4's broadcasting capabilities with some new content for The Playroom. The free DLC will allow you to easily create your own custom broadcasting sets, so you can further personalize your message and content for the wider gamer, wider gamer community. Was it kept? Yes, in August 2014, the AR Studio update was released, adding a host of new sets, custom music options, and interactive features, leading to a vibrant live show community on PS4. The promise. PlayStation Now, the service, will be available in the United States and Canada as an open beta on PS4 starting July 31st. Was it kept? Definitely. It's available in the US on PS4 and PS3 and on PS Vita as an open beta. The promise. So later this year, we're bringing the PlayStation Now experience to select Sony televisions. Was it kept? Yes. It's available now on a range of Bravia TVs. The promise. In total, there are more than 100 Vita titles in development today. Was it kept? Absolutely. IGN Vita Game Database lists over 120 games as having been released between E3 on the 9th of June 2014 and the 11th of March 2015. The promise. Minecraft is also coming to Vita and it will be the full console experience with co-op included. Was it kept? Yes. The game was released for Vita as a digital download in October 2014 and a physical release in November. The promise. PlayStation TV will also play most Vita titles as well as PS1 and PSP Classic. Was it kept? In September 2014, Sony released a list of games compatible with the PS TV. It contained 211 Vita specific games, give or take a couple. Wikipedia lists over 940 Vita specific titles as having been released. So 211 is less than a quarter of that. Hardly most. The promise. PS TV will be available for $99. Was it kept? Absolutely. It was released in the USA on the 14th of October. Whilst it's been great for allowing you to play Vita games on a big screen, sadly, Sony are treating it like the ginger stepchild of the ginger stepchild. Fire sale prices mean you can buy it for 70 American dollars or 40 British quid. The promise. I'm pleased to announce that all Plus subscribers in the US will be able to view the entire Powers series for free. Was it kept? Yes. It premiered on PS Plus on the 10th of March. The promise. 
Ratchet and Clank, the animated movie, will be released in theaters in 2015. Was it kept? No. Lack of worldwide distribution means the movie has been delayed until 2016, although a Hollywood voice cast has been added, including Sylvester Stallone, Rosario Dawson, John Goodman, and Paul Giamatti. The promise. We're also working with the studio to reimagine the original Ratchet and Clank for PS4. Both the movie and game will be available in the first half of 2015. Was it kept? No. As the movie has been delayed, a decision has been taken to delay the game, which by the sounds of it, is close to completion. It will be released in conjunction with the movie in 2016. The promise. Batman Arkham Knight on PlayStation 4 comes with Scarecrow Nightmare missions that are only available on PlayStation. Was it kept? It's in progress. The game will release shortly after E3, but so far the Nightmare Pack is listed as exclusive to PlayStation. The promise. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End will release in 2015. Was it kept? No. Arguably Sony's most high profile game has been delayed until spring 2016, as Naughty Dog say the game has become more ambitious. Defining Moment. It was on the Sony stage that GTA 5 was confirmed for PS4, but then something very interesting was said. PlayStation boss Andrew House revealed that the current community of PS3 players and Xbox 360 players will have the ability to transfer their GTA online progress and characters to the PlayStation 4. There was a genuinely shocked and excited reaction from the crowd because it brought to the center stage the narrative that Xbox 360 owners have been moving away from Microsoft and upgrading to the PlayStation 4, which many dedicated 360 fans had done after the mishandled Expo reveal. Phil Spencer's subsequent behavior suggests he took this like a body blow to the gut. The implied meaning was that Xbox 360 owners were jumping ship to PlayStation on his watch he had to say something. So, during Microsoft's European conference, he attempted to retaliate by explaining that PS3 online progress could be transferred to Xbox One. Xbox One gamers can carry over their GTA online characters and progression from either PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. But by then, his news was eight weeks too late. His words sounded reactionary. Of all the big announcements of the evening, this was actually the most significant and the biggest PR win for Sony's press conference. Going into E3, it makes sense to look back at the previous year's promises. Watching them can make you aware of the difference between empty crowd-pleasing words and genuine AAA announcements. Bless you for watching. Please hit the like button to say you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at VenomQuest and do subscribe to be the first to see the latest videos. Cheers!